is human nature really that bad? I don't know, though. Is there some balance there with valuing yourself and finding people with stronger character? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's just one of those things where it's not necessarily human nature that I'd say that is. I'd say that there's a lot that, you know, we live in a very difficult world. We live in a world where a lot of people are hurt. We live in a world where men and women are hurting each other all the time. And so most men and most women that you meet have a wall up and they're trying to protect themselves because they're afraid of getting hurt and they're just taking, 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 taking as much as they can or they're giving, 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 giving and they are trying to be a martyr by talking about how much they're giving and how awesome they are by giving. And so we, we live in a world where there's a lot of a lot of takers out there that it's not that they necessarily want to hurt people, but that they've lived in a world where the only way that they can get by is to take and to be selfish and to you know take advantage of whatever situation they possibly can. And so it's not that they're bad. It's just that that's what they're used to. That's the only world that they know and they understand. There's a game out there. It's called the Red Black Game. And there's a bunch of different kind of companies and seminar groups that use this. The one that I'm familiar with is a company called PSI Seminars. And if you play that game, you'll learn a lot about how people unintentionally hurt each other. And it's really, really interesting. It's a real fascinating game. If you guys have uh, PSI seminars around you, you should go and check out that program because it's just that one game in and of itself is incredibly valuable. Just to, just to watch it, you know, and see how most people are just, they're taking or they're giving and they're being martyrs or whatever. It's real, real interesting. DD says, I totally hear you on people not having respect for themselves. There are times I try to guide men into having respect, but they are wet noodles. Such a turnoff. Yeah, I mean, it, it's you can't really. I was actually I was hanging out with some with another dating coach today. I was hanging out with this guy who's a men's dating coach, and we were chatting about this this idea, right? We we're talking about kind of like the MGTOW movement and a lot of the incels, the involuntarily celibate guys that are out there and what can be done with them. And one of the things that we talked about is how you, you can't really help them necessarily. I mean, you can give them a path, but the path is already there for them to help themselves. And as long as you're trying to do something to help them, you're just enabling them to be weak for the most part. And they usually don't get up on you know, usually change doesn't happen by you being like, hey, here, try to be better, try to be stronger, try to value yourself, try to respect yourself. Change usually doesn't happen from that. Change usually happens when somebody feels so much pain that they're like, I can't live with this pain anymore and I have to do something about it. And so they go out and they try to do a bunch of new things until they find something that either works or they completely give up altogether. And a lot of those, and a lot of guys have given up. And so you can't really, you can't force a guy to respect himself. Just like we can't force you to respect yourself and value yourself. It's a path that you have to go on and you have to step up and do. Otherwise, you're going to have problems with it for the rest of your life. And that's why it's why it's so important for personal growth. Personal growth is, in my opinion, by far the most important thing that you can possibly do in your life is just continue to grow, continue to work on things that are going on within yourself so that you can become the person who attracts the things that you want in your life. We were talking about that too, actually this concept where there's a lot of a lot of people out there there's all these people out there and they all want these really high standards and you you can see it all over our chat boards on our YouTube channel and in our community and all over the place is you have all these people 
and, and in the men's communities and stuff, it's all the same. It's the same across the board on the men's side and on the women's side. You have all these people and they, ha they keep raising their standards for the kind of person that they want to be with. But the problem is, is they're not raising their standards for themselves. They're just raising their standards for the other person, <laughs> right? And it, it, was, it was this thing I was talking about yesterday in the live stream where I was talking about this guy that I know that wants – he was telling me the last time I was hanging out with him that he only wants to date women who have – been working on he's in his I think he's in his 50s or something and he only wants to date women who have been exercising and taking care of their bodies for at least the last 20 years you know and you look at him and you're like well dude you have a big gut and you don't exercise and you smoke and your your skin is like peeling off from you know this autoimmune disease that you have and you're, you know what I mean? Like a woman who has been working out for 20 years, why would she want anything to do with you, right? Like it, you, you, you have these high standards, but you don't have high standards for yourself just for the other person. And so you're not willing – there's all these people out there that aren't willing to do what's necessary to deserve the other people, the per type of person that they want. They just raise their standards up and then they do whatever they want to do and they complain that nobody's stepping up for them and they're wondering, whoa, why, why don't, you know, why aren't guys willing to step up and, you know, be a man for me, you know, and it's like, well, are you willing to step up and be the kind of woman that the man is looking for, you know, and, and so there's, well, that was a really long tangent, but it's an important thing, right? It's important to, to – wow, I really I really went way off on that one. Okay. So Donna says, sounds good to me. Do you want me to meet you there? Oh, are you talking about Romania? <laughs> okay. 